Today we're going to be seeing out of this world encounters with the largest mammals on Earth. Kind of like being able to give these friendly whales a pat on the head, or allow one of them to nudge at your boat playfully, and maybe have one take you for a high speed ride across the water. But first, let's see what a whale's diet consists of, and hopefully it's not humans. Swallowed by a humpback whale. Watching whale feeding in the area has become very common after these humpback whales became active around the bay. According to the two kayakers, they failed to realize that they were already in the middle of dozens of silverfish. The next thing they knew, they were already overboard and underwater. They actually mistook the whale's mouth for the whale's belly as it shot up near them. Fortunately, the incident was only terrifying and not tragic, as the whale spit them out about immediately afterward. Other kayakers rushed towards them immediately, asking if they were alright. Initially, they didn't even believe their fellow kayakers when they told them that they were inside the mouth of that whale. Only when they actually saw the video did it sink in for them. One of them made a statement that it'll be a long while before she ever gets to go kayaking again when the whales are out. She's going to be sticking with dolphins, otters, and seals for now. Also, this wasn't the first incident of whales accidentally engulfing a person, but it was one that had very clear footage of the incident. So, you ever got plans to go watch whales feeding while kayaking? Steer clear of certain areas. Childhood Dream Come True Filmmaker Patrick Distra had a long life held dream since he was still a child. In his younger years, he just stared in awe at a life-sized replica of a blue whale in the Smithsonian Museum. Since then, he had wanted to swim amongst these gentle giants and have an encounter that's going to stick with him for the rest of his life. Blue whales are by far the largest animals to have ever lived on this Earth. They're even bigger than dinosaurs, reaching up to 35 meters long and weighing 190 tons. Really, it might not sound like much, but the largest dinosaur in history was only around 26 meters and weighed 65 tons. Sadly, like the dinosaurs, they may be going that way, as blue whales are endangered and are under strict protection after centuries of commercial whaling activities. On various trips starting in 2009, Patrick's dream came true in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Sri Lanka. He was only 35 back then, but he'd already had one of the most incredible close encounter shots with blue whales at the time. He spent a decade traveling the world in search of them while researching anything that could help his search. From Antarctica to Azores, he never stopped his search until he came to Sri Lanka. While capturing these amazing shots of whales, he also embraced the environment around him. From the sea turtles of the dolphins and even the passing swarms of jellyfish, he said that nothing in this world will ever compare to the experience. For years to come, Patrick uses photography and videography to further his studies on blue whales with the hope that more people could understand and protect them. He now owns Picture Adventure Expeditions, which gives people around the world the opportunity to encounter and learn more about amazing animals around the world. Flying Seal While a group of people were fishing in Ketchikan, Alaska, they made a little friend that approached them near their boat. The sea lion was trying its best to hide among the people underneath the fishing boat. It was a rare sight as sea lions are known to move in large groups and it seemed like this one had lost its colony. But the reality was a little grimmer as soon as the group of people saw something in the distance. There was a single large orca that was stalking this lone sea lion. Orcas are known as killer whales, coined as they were extremely aggressive and can kill prey larger than them. Although they are anatomically closer to dolphins, they're still closely related to whales. Despite their reputation though, they almost never attack humans, or at least reportedly. This group didn't want to get in the middle of a battle for a killer whale's meal though, so they soon decided to leave the area. Not too long after they had left, the chase ensued. They were surprised to see the killer whale throwing the sea lion 20 feet into the air. The group of witnesses could only scream in terror and amazement at what was going on. But this kind of thing is surprisingly not that rare, as there have been several times where killer whales are caught playing with their food. According to scientists, killer whales often strike seals with their tails. Sea lions have very sharp claws and teeth, so killer whales are often at risk of getting serious injuries when hunting. Orcas, though, are a lot smarter and use a combination of ramming and slapping their prey with their tails and fins. This hunting style can reach up to 30 minutes or more until the sea lion is already too injured to fight back. Tail strikes don't usually result in flying seals, but with the right angle and enough force, it makes sense to see this happen from time to time. Cruel as it is. Petting Whales Located in San Ignacio Lagoon, Baja, it is one of the three largest birthing and breeding lagoons for gray whales in the world. It's also the only lagoon that is untouched by human development, which makes it home to the densest population of these whales. The experience here is incredible and something nobody should ever miss out on. 
Mother whales can even be seen guiding their calves closer against the boat to be pet by the visitors. The whales arrive in late November and leave during the spring season. Every year, these gray whales travel the longest migration known to exist among mammals. They swim up to 14,000 miles per year from the cold Arctic seas over to the warm water lagoons in Baja. They're well protected and enjoy the nutrient-rich waters of the lagoon because the cool ocean currents push oxygen and nutrients near the surface. This in turn allows various marine life to push upward, such as small plankton, which is an important part of these whales' diets. Baja's gray whales are often seen bumping on the sides of boats, hoping for a quick nose pat. They also flip around and show off their tail flukes to the visitors. It's a unique environment and probably one of the most soul-touching experiences for many people. Scientists deduce that the whales have been introduced to humans since they were young, and it's evolved into a trait within them as they come to and from the lagoon. Unexpected Boat Ride We already know that gray whales are one of the friendliest giants out there, and sometimes they just want to have a little more fun with the visitors. This group of tourists went for the boat ride of their lives and this gray whale swam under the boat and lifted them up on its back. At first, they assumed it was simply a mistake and that it would swim back down, but then it started swimming and took them for a little journey. Lori Barra, the woman who took the video, could be heard excitedly cheering as the whale began moving them forward. Another passenger even said jokes of the whale and asked if it wanted to bring them back to Alaska. They were definitely thrilled and blown away by the experience, especially since they managed to capture it all on camera to remember this moment well into the future. And just when they thought the adventure had ended, the whale lifted them again, and this time it went a little bit faster. This little boat trip went on for over two hours, and the whale didn't even seem the least bit tired with playing with them. Bara has been here many times, this was the first time it ever happened. Perhaps the whales have grown fond of this familiar face that keeps visiting them. Whale protects a diver from a shark. Biologist Nan Hauser has been around whales for almost three decades and is the president of the Center for Cetacean Research and Conservation. She's researched everything about whales from population status to feeding behaviors. But she didn't expect to learn much more during her trip to Cook Islands in the South Pacific. A humpback whale that was estimated to be around 40 tons and at least 60 feet long began swimming rapidly towards her and nudged at her with its snout. It also tucked her under its pectoral fin while seemingly tried to lead her away from the area. At the time, Hauser admitted that she was quite frightened from the encounter and didn't understand what the whale's intentions were. She said that she was prepared to lose her life and that she assumed it was going to break her bones. During this encounter, she and another diver were working on a nature film and you could see the perspective of both during this whole event. When the whale finally allowed her to surface back up into her boat, she saw another tail in the distance moving from side to side towards her. She immediately recognized that it was a tiger shark stalking them. After reviewing the footage and reflecting on the confusing experience, she finally understood that the whale was most likely trying to save her from the shark that was drawing closer. Despite being badly scratched up and bruised from the barnacles on the whale, she can't help but feel thankful for this moment where a whale's intuitive nature to protect other species of animals was captured on camera. There were skeptics that tried debunking her claims, but as a scientist, she firmly believes that she herself would not have believed this story if she hadn't lived through it herself. Playful Whale Off the coast of Puerto Madryn, Argentina, a paddle boarder got the shock of her life when a whale mistakes her toy boat for a toy boat. The rare encounter went viral, and people who saw the clip both felt mesmerized with awe and paralyzed in fear. The curious whale slammed closer to the paddle boarder and began to gently nudge at it with its flipper. It swam beneath the paddle boat and looked like how a child would when seeing this floating object for the first time. The photographer who captured this moment with the drone said that he believed he just captured the best whale video in his entire life. Many people praised the woman for remaining calm and not trying to move away hurriedly from the whale, and they loved how friendly the whale was as well. For a mammal that size, it could have easily capsized the boat, but it only did a small little nudge to move the paddle boat forward. Some people also said that the woman was lucky for not being harmed by the whale, but the likelihood of that is far slimmer as whales are well known for being social and friendly towards humans. The woman on the paddle boat was definitely blessed by the sea to have had such a rare occurrence happen to them and also to have it caught on camera, and also again to come out unscathed. In an interview with one of the tourism authorities in the area, they stated that there is a provincial law that prohibits any form of contact between the animals here and humans. Granted, I don't think the woman really had a choice in this case. The photographer also managed to find the woman in the footage. She is Analia Giorgetti, someone who has only ever gotten on a paddleboard twice in her life. And on that day, it turns out it was actually her birthday. She thanked the photographer for capturing the moment that she's never gonna forget. 
Server is getting too close. There is a reason why there are strict laws in place regarding getting close to whales in several parts of the world. Although whales are gentle giants, they are still living beings that deserve respect and personal space. However, this large group of surfers in Sydney, Australia didn't seem to get the memo and got too alarmingly close to a whale and its young calf. The incredible drone footage initially showed how the mammals were playfully swimming alongside a large number of strangers, and the surfers reacted with much delight. But this captivating encounter soon turned sour as soon as the mother whale became agitated. One of the nearby servers went close to the calf and had attempted to stroke it with their hand. Like any mother who would see a stranger attempt to touch her child without permission, she lashed out her tail towards the surfers. To the group's credit, they at least started to disperse away, getting the message. The sheer size of a whale's tail and the splash it could make is not to be taken lightly, so it was good that they got the message right away. Not getting any sympathy from their own kind, many people took to the online forums to complain about these people, breaking maritime laws and also distressing the mother whale. Just goes to show you, stay in your lane. The surfers are back again. Also, once again in Sydney, Australia. Surfers got more than they bargained for by paddling close to a whale. According to Australia's Department of Agriculture, Water and Environment, it is strictly prohibited to touch or feed whales, and a person must be at least 30 meters away from any whale. But surfers on this part of the world just couldn't get enough of the large mammal. A helicopter was capturing the scene as it happened because of quick reports from people to authorities on the beach. It appears at first that the whale was swimming peacefully amongst the surfers, but patients can really only go so far when you're being surrounded on all sides by them as if they were predatory animals. The whale soon became stressed at the situation and began lashing out with its tail. Loudspeakers on the beach urged the surfers to leave the whale alone. Not only were they breaking the law, but they were putting themselves in danger. A year before this video was captured, another swimmer on this beach was hospitalized after getting close to the same whale breed. Southern right whales weigh up to 80 tons, and even with the fear of getting hurt, these surfers still took a long while before they finally backed off from the situation. It's honestly really concerning for these animals that this has happened so many times in the exact same area. The southern right whales were the species that suffered the most during whale hunting in the past because they were also slow swimmers, and they prefer to stay close to the coast. They're recovering in numbers, but still threaten to some degree. So hopefully this teaches more people about the importance of following local marine guidelines. First footage of a blue whale nursing. Wildlife filmmaker Patrick Distra is back in Sri Lanka again and had another jaw-dropping encounter with the blue whales. He and his team were working on a new research project to document blue whale behaviors. They came across this mother whale and her calf early on in the day in the southern coast of Sri Lanka. They followed the pair for about five to six hours and they noticed how the calf spent most of its time moving into position next to its mother. After observing them for a long time, they noticed that the calf was turning to its side and moving towards the mammary glands of the mother. Blue whale calves are reliant on their mother for food during the first year of their life. And much unlike other animals, they aren't able to suckle. Instead, it will let its mother know that it's hungry by nudging, and the mother whale will proceed to protrude their mammary gland and release milk into its young's mouth. This was incredible footage because despite being the largest animals to have ever lived on the planet, no one's ever managed to film this moment with blue whales before. They knew it was difficult to film this moment considering that they were several miles away from land and had to rely on an aerial camera alone. But Dijkstra thinks that capturing this never-before-seen moment was immensely incredible. See you all next time!